I'm using Arduino for a low battery disconnect. I have a battery bank on my solar power system and I want to turn it off when the uh, battery voltage drops to 10.5 volts and then turn it back on if the battery voltage comes up to uh, uh, 11.5 volts. I'm using an Arduino Nano and to power that I have an LM317 and that's putting out uh, 7.45 volts into the V and in the Nano. Uh, the battery voltage is going to be between say uh, 10.5 and 14 volts and then I have an, an LM005 and this is a voltage reference and it's going to put out a nice steady 5 volts into my analog reference pin over here. Uh, I could have probably done it with the internal 5 volts internal but this might be a little bit more accurate. Uh, I do have a, um, a HC12 that I'm I'm going to put on there and I'm going to send the uh, the the battery voltage back to my my desk the batteries are outside uh, I was going to do this with this uh, uh, p-channel uh, MOSFET but I think I'm just going to use a, a relay and then turn off the instead of turning off the low voltage side I'm going to turn off the uh, the uh, 110 volt side I'll have, I won't have to switch as much current that way uh, now for the uh, the program it just just very simple here. Uh, the only thing you have to to worry about is the uh, if you're going to use this A ref pin, you need to do an analog reference external. Mm -hmm. You have to put that in before the analog read, okay? And uh, if you if you don't put this external in it, it goes to the default one. Um, you can uh, you can short out the A ref to the five the internal five volts, and it could actually burn up your chip. So, if you're using an external one, you always have to call it, have to say external there. And it has to be before the uh, an analog read. Okay, then I'm just reading the analog there and uh, taking the uh, the value times, you know, the 5 volts divided by the uh, 1023. And now my um, voltage divider takes 20 volts in and puts 5 volts out. So, uh, it's a factor of 4 there, so I'm just taking the voltage times times four to get my actual voltage out. Uh, then I'm here I'm just printing it to the uh, screen and here I have uh, if the voltage is uh, is greater than 11.5 volts I'm going to dig digital write this that one of the pins high and if it's less than 10.5 I'm going to write the pin low. I just have a uh, an LED on here for now. I'm going to put a relay in there eventually and this is my uh, HC12. I'll probably put that right in here somewhere. And uh, so we'll see if we'll see if this thing actually works. I'm just going to test it for now. So I've got. Uh, can you see that? Yeah. I have uh, turn the voltage down, and when it gets to uh, 10.5, this should shut off. Oh, there it goes. And when it comes back up to uh, eleven point five, it should uh, it should turn on. Oh, it turned on a little soon. I can I can adjust that, uh, tweak that voltage around in there a little bit. Let's try it again. So down to ten point. 10.5 that's perfect and coming up the other way 11 oh, it's hard to tell but it's fairly close and I can t I can tweak that around so uh, that's gonna turn my uh, unit on and off and save the batteries I don't want the batteries to drop below the 10.5 volts but uh, that's gonna be my uh, low battery uh, disconnect. Thank you.